Good afternoon, everyone. Hi, my name is Charlie, the uh, support manager here at Sockeye Consulting. Uh, today, I will be covering a uh, particular use case that often comes through support. When you're doing a customer refund, that's a generally common workflow that Intact has documented within the Help Center. But one particular scenario that is a little bit more nuanced is how to refund a customer over payment. Um, that requires a slightly different approach, but generally the same workflow where you work on the AR side to remove the payment and then you issue the refund through AP. And so I'll go ahead and begin by jumping into my demo environment here, where I will start by creating an invoice for a customer. So we'll go ahead and use reasonable security here and we're going to code that to our revenues for surveillance in the amount of $249. And uh, for clarity, I'll actually be posting this on a day by day, step by step um, to make the GL report clearer when we get to that step. And so I have 249, location 100, build 9191. Okay, post. And then let's say payment comes in the very next day. Let's go receive that payment for reasonable security. And uh, let's say they um, overpaid us and gave us a check for $300 instead. And let's go ahead and set that as 92, 92, and then select that invoice, reasonable security, 9 one 2022. And then 300, make sure the dates look good, select that. And you'll notice here the uh, receive payment screen will keep track of that overpayment. It will show the amount received as 300, the total amount applied as 249, and the amount available to apply as 51. And now I will go ahead and post that payment. And now just before I go into the next step, let me jump into the AR configuration just to show you a couple of things. Intact does give you the option of tracking overpayments in its own standalone GL account. In my uh, current demo, I have accounts receivable coded to 12100 and overpayments to 12600. And that'll be uh, important for the next step. Now, as I previously mentioned, or if you've already looked at the um, intact documentation on processing customer refunds. It does involve using AR adjustments and uh, we'll go ahead and perform that step next. So let's go ahead and go back into AR, create that adjustment uh, and uh, let's go ahead and increment the date. So nine three for reasonable security. And here, what we're going to be doing is clearing the overpayment account of that overpayment. And to do that, what we'll want to do is actually change the adjustment type from the default, which is credit memo, to debit memo. We are going to be debiting AR, and then we will be crediting the overpayment account in the amount of $51 for that same department, for that same location. And then let me go ahead and post that. Now that does something kind of interesting here in AR. So what we're going to do now is actually go back into the receive a payment screen to complete the AR slide aside of the um, customer refund workflow. I'm going to go ahead and select reasonable security one more time. And then we're going to go ahead and apply that payment as of 9-4. Going to go ahead and select that invoice. And you'll notice that um, the creation of that adjustment actually produces um, a basically an invoice that you can post against that overpayment. And so I'm going to go ahead and select that adjustment I created for $51, add and close. And it shows that I have an amount available to apply of negative 51. I have my transaction of 51. Go ahead and check that box, apply credits. And you notice it wipes out those amounts in the header. And then let me go ahead and hit post. And now when we go in um, to view this again, if you were to go back and try to pull another invoice, let's try this out for um, 
that same customer reasonable security, select invoices. Let's go ahead and select that one that is outstanding. The system does not show an overpayment that we can use. This credit's available is actually from a different type of transaction, but that 51 is essentially gone at this point. But now the AR site is done. Let's go ahead and jump over to AP. And this is where uh, we'll go ahead and create a bill that we're gonna use to refund the customer. And so now I'll go ahead and create a new bill as of 9.5. And here though uh, is a unique step. In AR, we already have the customer record for um, that customer that we just wiped out on the AR side. But on the AP side, there is no such vendor that ties out to that customer. And so what we'll need to do is go ahead and create a vendor record for reasonable security. And um, it's good practice to go ahead and select one-time use uh, because this won't be a vendor that you'll pay regularly. It's just for pr purposes of processing that refund. And let me go ahead and save that, give it a bill number. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and give that a due date, same, nine, five. Now here's the last piece that's gonna be important. When we're coding the uh, account, you'll actually want to code this against the overpayment account. This is the last step. And it's going to be the amount of $51 against that location, against that department. All the fields look good. We'll go ahead and post that bill. And now we're actually gonna go ahead and pay that bill. And this is the last step of completing the workflow. Reasonable security. Recording that transfer. Let's set the payment to 96. Apply my filters. Let's grab that bill. Everything looks good. Pay now. And the memo here, refunding customer overpayment. Save. And now we're completely done on the AP side. But of course, the important part is what does this look like and how does it reflect on a general ledger? Let's go ahead and jump over to GL, to the GL report writer. And um, earlier when I had mentioned I'd be doing this step-by-step, -step, this is the final result when we run it for that period. All right, so let's just go ahead and look at this from top to bottom. At the very top, we have our cash account that's going to represent the overpayment as well as the payment for the original amount of the invoice. But you'll also see the credit, that $51 that came out of AP to refund the customer. So all is well and good there. Let's go down a little bit further, accounts receivable. We have the initial AR invoice. Uh, we have the subsequent uh, receipt of payment, but then we also have um, the overpayment as well as the adjustment here. So those two are gonna wipe. And then stepping down a little bit further, our original accounts receivable, you have the overpayment and then the adjustment for that, and then the AP side that clears the overpayment account. And so when we're looking at things, um, it does fully balance. And then we go down a little bit further, here is accounts payable, reflecting the second half of that workflow that we performed for that $51. And then at the very end, revenue still sitting at 249 against the revenue account. And uh, with that, everything looks good. And that concludes my short demo of how to uh, refund a customer overpayment. Um, I hope you guys found it insightful and uh, useful in case you ever run into the same situation again. And if you have further questions, you're welcome to reach out to us anytime at support at sockeyeconsulting.com or um, check out the uh, Help Center articles that are available or other resources within the Intact community.